on this beautiful morning of the first morning of Sukkot, we are reminded of God's promises with a beautiful rainbow. Christian. Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Hava and this is Hava's Prophetic Life. I am out in the um, Lanai just enjoying some wonderful time with the Lord. It is Sunday, October 1st. We are already in October. What a blessing. This is the second day of Sukkot. So I'm wearing my rainbow mantle. Because you'll see in a moment the word that I feel laid upon my heart to bring to you guys this morning. So, um, I hope you all have been blessed. I hope you've had a blessed weekend. If you are Jewish, I hope you've had a blessed Sukkot so far. If you are Christian, I hope you have had a blessed Sukkot so far. Um, and if you are just joining the channel, please like, subscribe, and share with all so it can be a blessing to other people. And I just want to take a moment and let the worship play and bring you a word. I'm just soak in the stillness of God. quietness of the Lord. So you can hear his still small voice speaking to you. Spending time in his presence is vitally important, especially in this time. Praying in the Spirit, praying in the Holy Spirit, praying by the Spirit. In spending time with Abba Father, so important. And I just want you guys to just take a few minutes just to be quiet, just to be still before his presence, just to give him all the honor, the glory, for he is holy. He is holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Adonai Sava'ot. Kadush, Kadush, Kadush. Holy, holy, holy. Adonai Sava'ot is the Lord God Almighty. So allow his presence to soak you to overtake you. Allow the Holy Spirit to move in you and through you. Hallelujah. Allow Yeshua to wrap his loving arms around you. Bringing you comfort and shalom. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring shalom to your heart, shalom to your mind, shalom to your spirit, shalom to your body. Just take this time to just see how holy he is, how holy, holy are you. Yes. 
a glorious God. He is just an awesome, magnificent, blessed, wonderful, good God. <laughs> so I just came out here um, to worship the Lord and to spend time in his presence. And, you know, I find myself in the early mornings when I come out here and just just spend time with him, it's so awesome. It's so wonderful. I just want to bring you a quick word that I felt laid upon my heart. And I hope that the worship blessed you. And, you know, take time. I really feel to say that. Take time just to be still, just to be silent before the king. And allow him to just move over you. Allow him to just take those heavy burdens from off of your shoulders. So we're living in a time where there's a lot going on in this world. However, we have a mighty God who is there to wrap his loving arms around us and say, I'm with you. So yesterday, um, and in the beginning of this video, I'll put the video I took of the rainbow. But yesterday morning, I came out and there was a huge, beautiful rainbow. And at first it was a double rainbow and I tried to hurry up and get my camera, but by the time I got my camera, um, the, the bottom half had already kind of dissipated when the sun was coming up. But I did catch some of it of the, the top half of the first rainbow and I just stood there in awe because it was the first day of Sukkot and how fitting and how just only God could do something like that on the first day of Sukkot to remind us of his promises you know we're going so many people are going through in our nation and other nations all the way around the world going through something at this time there are people who are going through sicknesses diseases viruses um, going through it financially going through it emotionally relationships marriages children youth 
the world, the earth itself. You know, there's so much bad news. If you just turn on the news just for five minutes, you're just plummeted with all this bad news. And sometimes we just have to turn that off. We have to get away from it all and come before the Lord. And we have to remember his promises. We have to remember what he told us. What he told us. What did the Lord speak to you? And you have to remember that that is the truth for your life. Because God is the God of truth. And he has never and can never tell you a lie. Because if he did try, if he did tell you a lie, it would be the truth. Because he speaks only the truth. But he would not lie to you because that is not who he is. He is a loving father. And when we look around, and if you're going through something with your children, your husband, your wife, your family, uh, financially, health-wise, those are all from the enemy. And the evil one is a liar. And so he tries to send these lies to you. He tries to send these lies to try to overwhelm you, stress you out, give you anxiety and depression. But Adonai says, no, I send my promise to you. And if you will be willing to come before me, in faith and receive these promises this is what you will reap is the promise have faith in the promise don't have faith in a lie it's fake it's not even there it's a mirage it's a lie and the enemy has tried to make those fake things truth to you and so it has tried to overwhelm you. It has tried to put you into depression. It has tried to give you anxiety. It has tried to get you angry and upset and to move you. But the Lord said, come and remember my promises. Have faith and remember my promises. Oh, Abba, I just say right now that you increase the faith of the people. And that they remember your promises and hold on to them as truth. As I am holding on to this mantle. That we hold on to his promises as truth at this time. And as we do that, we shall see every last one of them come to pass. You can count on this. It's not my word, it's the word of God. That whatever he has promised you, he will fulfill it. Through you and so when I saw that rainbow on the first day of Sukkot it was like a gift and Sukkot is all about the blessings of the Lord and receiving from him and us also bringing an offering to him let's bring our faith before him let's say I trust you in this moment Abba and I thank you for bringing forth every promise that you gave to me. And that every promise sprouts up as a tree in my life. God wants to bless you. He does not want you to live in depression. He does not want you to live in anxiety. He does not want you to live with these worldly pressures that the enemy has tried to place upon your shoulders. No, he wants you to live in his shalom, that you are clothed in his shalom, that your feet, that you walk in his shalom. And that you reap all the fruits of the Spirit. 
and that you reap all the promises of his word, every last one of them. And I just want to pray with you real quick before I go, and I hope this has blessed you. You know, if you need a healing, he is faithful to heal. If that is your promise that you need, reach out and grab that. Reach out in the spirit and grab that. Grab that promise. If you are depressed, reach out and grab the promise of his joy. If you had anxiety, which is based on fear, reach out and grab the promises of his trusting word and his boldness. Boldness to have faith that no, this is not going to cause me to fear. For greater is he who is within me than he who is within this world. Amen. Hallelujah. We are just in awe of you, Abba. Father, for those that need a healing, I thank you for touching their bodies. And if they need healing in their minds, touch their minds. Holy Spirit, move through their bodies, bringing forth the miraculous. Heal them now, Abba. Heal them now. Cardiovasculatory disease healed in the name of Yeshua. Digestive issues healed in the name of Yeshua. Mental health issues healed in the name of Yeshua and delivered and set free. Anxiety healed and delivered and set free. In the name of Yeshua. Abba, if it is financial that they are in need, meet their need. Overflow and meet their need beyond the need. That they have the desires of their heart according to your will, Abba. Pour out and open the heaven and pour out to where there isn't room enough for them to receive it all. Fill their baskets that even the fragments are multiplied like you did when Yeshua broke the, the bread and prayed over it and, and gave them the fish and the bread you multiplied it as he blessed it. So bless their finances and let them be multiplied. That they are blessed to even be a blessing to others. Abba, increase our faith in this moment. Increase our faith. And Lord, we receive all your promises, both now in this time of Sukkot and after. Thank you. Thank you for the harvest. And thank you for healing and touching and delivering and setting free the captive. And those who are in bondage, that you have broken and removed the chains. Salvation 
to the family member. You've been praying for salvation for your daughters, for your sons, and for your families. Reach out and receive the blessing of the promise that by the will of God they be saved. Abba, thank you for answering every request according to the will of God and bringing forth your miraculous. And thank you, Father, for the promise. Hallelujah. We give you glory and we thank you. Amen. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. So in closing, don't look at what's before you. See what Abba has for you. See beyond whatever circumstance it was. Take the time to spend with the Lord and allow him to show you his promises for you, your family. Take the time to spend with him and allow him to touch your body and your mind and your spirit and uplift you and revive you and restore you. Take the time to read the word of God and be increased in your faith. For faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And those words are the promise. He is willing and he is able. God bless you and I hope this was a blessing to you. I will be back um, and uh, when the Lord tells me to release another word, I will be back. But I pray that this has blessed you. And I pray that this is a reminder to you of the promises of God and not to get caught up in looking at the things around us. But to get caught up in looking at the promises of God. Keep that in your sight. Keep that in your mind and in your heart. He is faithful to do all things, hallelujah, and he is willing. All right, God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon.